<laughs> well, welcome. I don't know what to say about this one other than I'm your host, Graham Taylor, and we're getting ready to get into a kayak and go 60 miles offshore under some natural rock bottom and drop a mullet down and let it get eaten by a giant amberjack. Come on, watch this. Here we are, Orange Beach, Alabama, heading 60 miles offshore to some natural rock bottom, getting ready to put down on some serious pulling amberjack in a kayak. Mac and Chris are pulling up on the hole now. It shouldn't take them long to figure it out. Here goes nothing. All right, we're out here 60 miles offshore doing a thing you probably shouldn't do. We're getting ready to kick the new canoe frontier in on some jackass amberjack. See what happens. This is uh, the maiden voyage for this. This will be a new thing, so if something wild happens, it's not because I'm an expert at this. Peace out. All right, this is the New Canoe Frontier, one of the most stable boats that I know of. And I'm getting ready to see how stable it really is out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Getting ready to give it a whirl. We're using mullet for bait today, and it tends to work. So uh, we'll see how bad I get worked. I'm way out that way. There he hit it. He's eating it. I got him. He's pulling me to him now, buddy. Oh, I can't really talk. I need a second. I'm going to get my breath here in a minute. Oh, shit. Ah. 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 Oh God. Oh yeah, right. Uh, yeah, funny. 80 pound Power Pro here. Put the 130 four carbon liter onto a school bus in a kayak. He's making progress now. I see Collar. Here he comes, boys. Oh my God. I never thought this would be this hard. No. This will be my last one right here, if I get him. I sure do hope I get him. I got him right here, boys, look. Here he comes, color. Ah. 
This is our new canoe adventure in the Gulf of Mexico. And I got him. There he is. Good morning. It's a calm after the storm, after the new canoe's maiden voyage. We took it out there with a lot of skepticism among my peers and really pulled it off a lot better than we thought. It was a lot more stable. We're going to try to target a lot bigger game. But I got a few tips if you're going to attempt to do something like this. First one is have a good flotation device, something that's non-hampering, like maybe one of those that you pull the string and it blows up. That would help. Tip two would be to have some knee pads. Yesterday while I was fighting this fish, my knees just got brutalized and it's just really, it, it, it would just be so much better if I had knee pads to do this with. The next thing you want is a small compact rod, whatever you're going to use. I would recommend a small compact spinning rod because of the leverage. Um, if you have a bait caster, you're just fighting that rod the whole time and it's not as effective on these fish. Caught this amberjack yesterday in about 60 feet of water. I mean, 60 miles offshore and 200 foot of water. And I was actually even able to stand up in this frontier. But um, it did the job and won't be the last time we try it. Check back with us next time on the new canoe adventures. Whether we be striped bassing or in the Gulf of Mexico, this frontier does the job. Woo! It was fun. Well, that concludes our ride on a reef donkey in the Gulf of Mexico. Special thanks to my buddies Chris Braswell and Max Smith for laying me into him, and as well to New Canoe for making such a stable craft. Without all this combination, this would have never happened. Thanks, guys. I'm Graham Taylor, your host, and stick back with me for more adventures.